Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about Laravel and React and how to connect these two powerful technologies using Inertia JS. If you are a full stack developer working on a single page application instead of creating separate project for the back end and front end, it's more efficient to use Inertia JS and work with a single code base. This approach streamlines your development process and keeps your project organized let's dive and see how it's done so let's start by creating a new laravel project by opening our cmv in here and let's type in here composer create project laravel slash laravel and give it our project name i will give it the name of laravel and react then let's press enter and wait until the installation is finished. Once the installation is finished, then we have to enter inside our project by typing cd laravel and react enter. Then in here, we have to install breeze. So we will type composer require laravel slash breeze dash dash dev and let's press enter. And again, let's wait until the installation is finished. After the installation is finished, then we have to type php artisan breeze colon install and let's press enter. Now it's asking us which breeze stack we would like to install. So I'm going to use react. That's why I'm going to type react and press enter. Then now it's asking us that do we want any optional features? I don't want so I will just press enter. Now for testing framework also i will use the default php unit i press enter now let's wait until everything is set and the installation is finished okay the installation is finished now let's open our project in vs code by typing code space dot and let's press enter yes i trust the authors now let's go to dot env and in here let's set our Database connection. First of all, let's change this DB connection to MySQL and uncomment these lines of code. Then let's give them our database name. So I will type Laravel and React. After that, we have to run our migrations. Let's open the terminal and in here, let's type PHP artisan migrate. Let's press enter. Okay, the database is not available. Yes, we want to create, enter. Okay, everything is done. Now let's go and open our project in browser by typing Laravel and react.test. Our project has been loaded successfully because I am using Laragon. So that's the reason I don't have to type uh, PHP artisan serve in my commands. Now let's go and register a, a new user. So I will type admin and admin at gmail.com. Let's give him a password as well. Register. Okay, we are inside our dashboard. So registration, installation, login, everything is done. So in this video, everything is done. See you guys in the next video